Robin Carlin at the Denver Post Sports Desk. The Broncos went into San Diego on Sunday and picked up another win, 17-3, your final over the Chargers. Other than the first drive, the Broncos offense didn't do that much to impress. Brock Osweiler finished a modest 16 of 26 for 166 yards, one touchdown and one interception. The defense, however, was exceptional. They forced three turnovers, including a pick six by Danny Trevathan and tallied four sacks. The Broncos D now has five defensive touchdowns on the year. Denver advances to 10 and two overall and is suddenly in the driver's seat for home field advantage in the AFC playoffs. Brock and company got some help from Philly yesterday as the Eagles handed the Patriots their second loss on the season. But the Broncos win didn't come without cost. Injuries mounted up during the game. C.J. Anderson left with an ankle injury. Vernon Davis and Danny Trevathan both exited with concussions. And David Bruton had to be helped off the field with a knee injury. A special treat for hockey fans. The Avs will celebrate their 20th anniversary team tonight at the matchup against Minnesota. The pregame ceremony starts at 645. Fans get to see Peter Forsberg, Rob Blake, Milan Hayduk, Ray Bork, and other Avalanche greats. The Avs are looking to bounce back tonight against the Wild, the same team that beat them 3-0 on Saturday night in Minnesota. The Wild outshot the Avs 44-20 in that game. The Nuggets got their second straight win in Philly on Saturday. It looked like Denver was about to lose to the worst team in the NBA, but the Nuggets never quit, rallying to pick up a 108-105 win over the Sixers. Danilo Gallinari led all scorers with 24 points. Denver will host the Orlando Magic on Tuesday, looking for three in a row. Continuing with the hardwood, it was a wild one up in Fort Collins on Sunday. CU men's basketball trailed CSU by 13 at the half, but the Buffs stormed back. When the dust finally settled, CU headed back to Boulder with a convincing 88-77 win. In local college football, CSU Rams are headed to the Arizona Bowl in Tucson on December 29th where they'll face Nevada. And Air Force will face California in the Armed Forces Bowl in Fort Worth also on December 29th. No bowl game this year for CU. Also over the weekend, three state champs were crowned in high school football. In 3A action, Pueblo East picked up their second straight title after beating Roosevelt. Windsor bested Loveland for the 4A crown, and Valor Christian stormed back against Pomona, winning the 5A state championship. For more on these stories, pick up a copy of the Denver Post. I'm Robin Carlin at the Sports Desk with some of our top stories from DPTV.